This is the beautiful Salisbury Falls. Only about five minutes out of Wangaratta in the Warby Ranges or Warby Ovens National Park as it's now called. Easy to get to. Just head straight out Shanley Street from Wangaratta, out past the old drive-in. Just go all the way out. You'll get to a bit of a dog leg, just keep going straight. And when you get to the end of that road, that's where you park your car, and you just follow the walking signs. It's only about a five or ten minute walk into here. There's a series of cascades up here. This is the bottom one. It's probably the smallest. The next one up's a bit higher, and it's more of a free fall. And the top waterfall is a great big long staircase type waterfall. An absolutely beautiful area. Don't come up here in the middle of December or January looking to see this. All you'll find is bees and maybe a couple of damp rocks. And these creeks are seasonal up in the Warby Ranges. This is the second waterfall up at Salisbury Falls, or the middle waterfall. In my opinion, this is the most spectacular out of the three. It's not as high, but it's more free-flowing. And it takes a level of fitness to get in here. I don't know how I made it, to be quite honest. Just exercise some caution if you're planning on coming here. The bottom waterfall is easy to get to. This one's much trickier. That involves a bit of uh, climbing and walking. So make sure you've got some good shoes on and a reasonable level of fitness. But well worth the visit if you're able to climb into here. Now here we are at the top of Salisbury Falls, at the main waterfall. I stand to be corrected, but I believe this is the actual Salisbury Falls. So it's more of a staircase type waterfall with water cascades over lots and lots of little drop-offs rather than a free-fall. Absolutely beautiful, easy to get down to. Above this the creek flattens out, there's still little springs and cascades and stuff everywhere but nothing as spectacular as this. So there's, there's the three waterfalls. When you get out of the car park at the end of Shanley Street, you follow the walking track and there's two tracks that go. One goes to the left that says Salisbury Falls, that goes to the bottom waterfall. One goes to the right that says Salisbury Walk. You have to follow Salisbury Walk to get to this waterfall. Okay, Salisbury Falls takes you to the bottom waterfall. Salisbury Walk takes you to the top waterfall. And what a spectacular waterfall it is. When you're doing this sort of stuff, good boots, sturdy walking boots are an absolute must. And I'll show you what I wear. I have these ridgeline boots, lace-up boots, they're very supportive on my feet, they've got excellent grip, I've rubbed some Nick wax on them to keep them waterproof, my feet are dry, comfortable and warm right now, despite all the wet grass and, and stuff that I've walked through. Salisbury Falls, well worth a visit this time of year, just beautiful. And here it is. I've made it to the lookout, to the top. You can probably hear I'm very, very puffed. That happens when you're 21 stone and you walk up mountains. What an absolute beautiful place. Don't know whether this camera's picking it up or not. But right down there you'll see a red thing on a rock. And that's my wife, Loretta. Carberetta. And we just call her Carbo. She's just resting. I think she's planning on coming up to the top. <laughs> but it's nice up here, the walking track flattens out. This is the lookout. This is where I am, at the top of Salisbury Falls. You walk along here. There's a nice little bridge crossing the creek. And the track continu continues up there through the bush, climbs over the hill and makes its way to Wenham's camp. <laughs> 